so a lot of the detail on uh, <coughs> on this head is the detail from Dinocarius uh, did not translate you know, onto Pterosaurus that well so we will you know, have to uh, we'll have to redo all the detailing but that's not the end of the world it's just it's the end of the world as we know it just kidding um, but on the bright side you know I'll be able to recover a lot of detail from from the yeah yeah that 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 are that are my thoughts as well while I'm you know spinning the model and trying to figure out what what the head looked like on this guy uh, what I was saying uh, on the bright side I'll be able to recover a lot of detail from four limbs and the foot the foot will probably be the easiest then you know the four limb and then the head is going to need like the most work but never mind we'll still um, I think we'll still be you know, on track with uh, with, uh, with what I've anticipated so by the time we hit stream number 15 I uh, I hope we'll we'll have Therizinosaurus finished and we'll be working on color you know from uh, stream 15 uh, forward onwards or whatever so that's good and it should yeah so the four limbs they should be recoverable I'll need to uh, <coughs> increase the size of uh, claws a little bit and add sort of a little more details over the claw Alright, so now I'm thinking, it seems as though I took both forelimb and the foot models that weren't the final version of the model. <coughs> and that's a little bit of a bummer, because if that's the case, I'll need to maybe uh, redo some of the work, but it should be relatively straightforward and fast all right so I'm going to try and load hold on all right let me see where we are where are we at
now realize that I have to still finish Dinokeiru's uh, tongue. I forgot about that completely. Trying to load one more model of of the foot. Yeah, this is. Uh, so now I noticed that I haven't tweaked this detail here on the foot. When I thought I have finished the foot completely so let's just quickly no not good
switched a little bit toward I know, kind of chaos model. So I noticed some irregularities with its heat that I wanted to quickly patch up. Although I'll probably you know, do some small tweaks when I start applying color, probably.
I'm sorry, I haven't seen your message before. Uh, hold on. Okay, so Notre Nicus, I think I've seen, but I'm not sure if I've seen um, Bapo Source. Hold on, are these all uh, like uh, the Rizinosaurus family, or is this something uh, completely <coughs> different? So I seen Notronicus, but I haven't seen Vaporsaurus. Oh, nice. This is pretty cool information actually because you know something something like that could probably be you know a real possibility for Therizinosaurus as well. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, man. Alright, so this is impossible. It's like a dogopolyps like going on around me. Like dogs are barking, like I'm not sure what to expect. Like some sort of alien invasion is going to happen or something. I'm not sure what's going on. It's a full moon, man. It's a full moon. that film I really liked it I just hope my dog doesn't you know bit me or you know jump on me 
Act so aggressive. That won't be. That wouldn't be fun at all. So we saved this one. Let's do it one more time.
is going to be a most work for us. have been assimilated. It's too late. But I can still hear one, so there's hope. Where there's bark, there's hope. She's back online. Shut up, Zebrush. So I'm a little bit, to be quite honest, uh, I'm a little bit lost at the moment. I'm really not sure where to start. Like, you know, where I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm just talking to the present viewer, viewer and uh, future viewers. I'm sorry about these uh, mic issues, me hitting microphone. I'm going to have to sort of fix that thing like anyways I was talking about the I was talking about how I'm not sure what next uh, uh, 
I mean, I'm not sure what next. I'm not just, I cannot decide what first to start working on. And this is the uh, old Theresina source that I made. So, yeah, that's. Hold on, let me just try and get that. Trying to find a image. Just comparing, comparing my old Teresino model and, uh, <coughs> and uh, the one I'm working on right now. So we need a extra oh what the we need a extra digit on our feet a hallux which had like a huge claw. I'll need to increase the uh, claws on its feet, although I'm not going to create, you know, uh, <coughs> claws that are sharp as these. They are going to be a little bit more blunt. I might leave this one, you know, a bit sharper. as well as, you know, these my, what a big loss this one has Sheesh. too big or not Imagine having a Therizinosaurus for Thanksgiving instead of a turkey. Uh, having, you know, this big bird <laughs> set for family uh, lunch. Man, this would feed like, you know, entire town. Yeah, it has. Uh, has pretty scary feet especially these the ones I made like 
very scary in you know every sense of the, that word. What a mess. What a mess. But this is something that I made like three years ago or something like that. So. Look at this. Look at this mess. Look at the scales here. Look how they're overlapping each other. And, uh, wow. If I keep inspecting this model upon close, I'm going to be nauseated. <laughs> oh, God. But not to be too hard on, you know, my previous self. It's okay. This model is okay. All right. All right, my previous self. Did you hear that? You did a good job, boy. You laid the foundations for, you know, me today. So it's okay. There, I can uh, scratch that off my uh, to-do list. Talk to your past self. So I'll do one more thing for this stream. I'll try and uh, retopo the head so that we have <coughs> so that we lay down a base for you know starting planning and adding detail tomorrow or the day after. So I need pen, mask pen. I need to do this. Oh, that's too much.
And so we're going to take our move topological and adjust this a little bit. And there. Sorry. Right, so we are going to wait a second. What do I need to do? I need to do that duplicate. Or do I need to do a clone? Clone would be the most likely option so one thing that happens when you clone your tool and this is a thing uh, that uh, you might want to remember so our model here um, hold on Well, basically what happens is I'm going to illustrate this point with lower uh, mesh. So I'm going to divide this mesh like once. And uh, I'm going to go and divide it in the, in the HD, geometry HD. HD. And uh, if you've noticed, so I'm going to Undo. No, there's no undo for this action. Nope. So we have a HD subdivision for this mesh here. We can do it one more time. You can see there are like two subdivisions in HD and we have two subdivisions in normal geometry. So what when you clone your model your HD is ruined, it's gone. So when you start working on a model you need to know that you cannot clone it, you cannot duplicate it. I think you cannot duplicate it as well. We can recreate that now. So how do I know that my uh, divide HD has been removed? Basically the first thing you'll notice is that there's no subdivisions in the HD Palette. The second thing is uh, going like the second thing that'll that'll help you realize you've lost your HD is when uh, when you when you are in like any subdivision level, like you are always going to be able to see these buttons here: delete lower or delete higher. When your HD is active. I'm sorry, I need to find it. When your HD is like existing and you have it, you are not able to delete either one. Delete lower, delete higher, regardless of what you do, it's there and you you cannot remove it. And so I'm going to try and duplicate this uh, thing here. You see? We've lost the HD geometry upon du duplicating our, our model as well. So you cannot clone, you cannot duplicate, you cannot do anything of the of the sort sorts to 
your model once you enter HD geometry uh, so you need to take care of that file really well because I've had experiences in, in you know in the past where I would be working on a model and uh, uh, I would like uh, sort of basically I've came into some sort of scenario where where I would lost you know hours of work because my either my tool got corrupted or uh, something happened and uh, and then I realized like uh, upon trying to copy uh, the uh, HD tool and whatnot ultimately I realized that I've lost a lot of you know hours of work and uh, that I've lost my HD uh, information so you need to be very careful in you know when you're copying uh, your you know geometry that HD does not copy so if you have HD in your geometry be very careful how you treat your tools sub tools so I think this is a relevant information And like when you come to there is a notification here once you add HD subdivision levels to a model you cannot add or delete standard subdivision levels from that model but there isn't like a warning if you you know copy or clone or duplicate your tool that your HD uh, <coughs> info is lost so there you have it or maybe it is yeah there isn't a warning that you lose your HD when you do some of those actions I mentioned before yeah I think it's a good info because uh, uh, as I said before I had some issues with it and I lost some of the work uh, not knowing not knowing this so hopefully you know uh, anybody that goes through this is going to be able to you know, realize this thing anyway so what we need to do now to sort of Alright, this is sort of good. Or maybe a little bit more, maybe higher resolution. This might be a little bit better. So we did this because if you go on and check this thing out you'll see what happens like the mesh this is the, the uh, deformation that I you know made in order to create this uh, muscle here and uh, you know when you do your dynamesh the thing gets connected to you know the mesh that you wanted it to like become a part of uh, I did not want it to do that All right And 
Yeah, yeah. there is uh, the Dynamesh version. Uh, the Dynamesh feature uh, allows you to uh, have your model uh, Dynameshed while this is on. Uh, as soon as you like, press mask button, your your mesh becomes Dynamesh. Let me try and. Uh, You can see it uh, here. Like, you press your mask button and just you know, encircle an, an empty area on you know on the canvas in the background like this. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Dino Mesh, man, exactly. Uh, but I uh, I tend to use uh, Dino Mesh. Uh, with its with with the full host of its features here, um, and I tend to when I finish I tend to uh, turn off my Dynamesh button, but sometimes I can see the benefits of uh, the mask quick mask uh, Dynamesh uh, action. If you're like you know sculpting uh, like sort of trying to get a sh good shape you know and uh, sort of sketching in 3D and you know flying fast you do not like have to think about some of these features that uh, Dynamesh is offering then you know in that case it's in that case it's pretty good uh, so with that being said I'm going to try and uh, uh, do a rough Z remesher uh, action as well. Okay, so let me see what what will uh, the Z remesher feature come up with. Alright, so this is not bad. As a matter of fact, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Again, I'm hitting a microphone and I just don't... Don't know how to stop doing that. I'm gonna have to stop doing Alright, so now I'm going to try and um, project although there is nothing to project from like you know these details are irrelevant in terms of what we are after but I'm still going to do it If I could find all right, so I'm trying to figure out where my okay, so this is our oh yeah, okay. I got lost for a sec there. Alright, so we are going to try and project details from this like old <coughs> messed up messed up Therizinosaurus uh, head onto onto this new retopologized uh, piece of mesh. You piece of mesh. Uh, hold on. Hold on. That's like a new is insult. You piece of mesh. You. Who 
who do you think you are? I'm not sure why polyframe doesn't work like something got a little bit buggy and broken inside ZBrush as you can see I'm turning it on but it doesn't react <laughs> um, regarding Mike Kelly's books, uh, um, uh, it's not the spelling. It's just uh, the book is being produced, and uh, you know, this is the first book in the series, so uh, you actually cannot find anything until it's published. So. But you can uh, look up Mike Kelly uh, on Facebook and uh, try and uh, you know befriend him. Uh, I've got him, uh, you know, I've, I'm connected via Facebook with him as well, naturally. And uh, I love his. Uh, Mike Kelly has. He's been doing a lot for you know, uh, within like paleo art, uh, paleo uh, paleontology community. As far as I'm concerned, like he's like promoting paleontology like massively and uh, if you join uh, if you manage to like befriend him on Facebook which I don't see why not is uh, is the thing you'll realize it's like he's constantly posting uh, posting these and reposting and sharing you know images and illustrations from different guys and uh, really interesting articles about paleontology and discoveries and everything so he's like a, a great you know news flash portal type of thing uh, where he constantly you know churns out these new uh, things that he finds online and uh, sees from other you know uh, people that he's connected with uh, through, fa through Facebook and uh, so Mike is you know Mike is a pretty good thing uh, that is happening for paleontology uh, from my perspective and uh, uh, I'm really really uh, like having high hopes for this book and uh, I hope uh, it'll turn out turn out uh, you know as we uh, expect it to be like you know when we once we're finished with it because the, the you know writings that Mike's made for this book are like phenomenal and uh, hopefully you know uh, I'll be able to create all these illustrations to accompany those great uh, you know, writings and uh, you know it should make for uh, for an awesome read and uh, you know overall uh, a really nice book on in, in the field of, you know, paleontology. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I haven't done much the last half an hour or so, or maybe even a little bit more. Uh, I'm just going to save, I'm just going to save this for later. And I'll probably 
finish uh, the streaming for today. Had some other things uh, that I've done uh, today, so feeling a little bit exhausted as well. Uh, but I'll. Uh, the plan is to, you know, have uh, like a lot more work done tomorrow. So I hope it. Uh, uh, works out. Yeah, you should uh, you should definitely uh, send him a request. And uh, uh, Mike is a pretty cool guy. Um, all right. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, you know uh, being with me here on another short trip in sculpting dinosaurs. Uh, we should be able to, you know, do a lot more work on Therizinosaurus tomorrow. We managed to <coughs> get the base shape done, and uh, you know, tomorrow we'll start start applying, uh, you know, uh, tweaks and you know, refining these shapes and adding details and things of that nature. And over the course of you know, next four or five streams uh, I'm hoping will have the Therizinosaurus finished maybe even sooner we'll see and uh, that's it cheers guys <coughs>